Mr. Murray, I've got a question or two for you. Uh, I'm I want to ask you about the proposed legislation that the VA has come up with, and I think Ms. Anderson made reference to it, basically to let, let VA off the hook and say you don't have to follow far, far anymore for these kinds of contracts. Um, and that really bothers me because uh, one of the potential abuses that can happen when far or something the equivalent of far is not followed is that there's the potential for cronyism or higher prices. It's sort of like sole sourcing of contracts and the taxpayer isn't given the benefit of competing bids and that kind of thing. So would you agree with me that the legislation, uh, or I won't put it that way, uh, are you concerned that the legislation VA is proposing could allow for those problems to arise? I am, and I'm concerned about that sort of uh, thing, fraud, cronyism, um, pay more than you should across programs, whether it's travel or conference spending or whether it's uh, payroll. We've got a major initiative to make sure we, you know, payroll's where it needs to be in terms of controls. Um, so, so absolutely, which is why it's so important that the, that the controls that we've suggested and perhaps more are required in these uh, in this legislation uh, be implemented uh, you know reviews uh, the control that I'm intrigued with is that we review these uh, individual authorizations to see if they pass a threshold a million dollars annually and if so we start thinking right away maybe this needs to be far based we're doing a lot of this for instance well but the the specific language that concerns me in the proposed bill says quote um, uh, that uh, health care can be awarded, quote, without regard to any law that would otherwise require the use of competitive procedures for furnishing of care and services, unquote. So to me, that opens the door for potential cronyism. Mr. Fry, would you like to comment on that, that same question? Well, that, that, uh, that piece disturbs me as well, but I think in the background there may be some additional information. Council down at the end of the table was, uh, was involved in, uh, in putting that together. But, but certainly, again, if you give us legislation that allows us to do something besides the FAR, uh, I'm ambivalent, but we've got to develop those rules, go through the rulemaking process, put those rules in place, and then we have to enforce the rules and hold people accountable. We don't hold people accountable for anything right now. You, you know, we, we come down here, I read the newspapers every day, uh, 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 Chairman Miller says, well, you know, why aren't things working? Why aren't, you know, why, why don't we follow the rules? It's because no one's held accountable. No one. No one has been held accountable at all for these violations of federal regulations and law in, in the uh, course of events with, his, with these uh, obligations for fee basis care. And I suspect no one will ever be held accountable. There are hundreds of thousands of these transactions that should have been ratified. There are billions of dollars that have been spent, and we'll just sweep it under the carpet. Well, I'm uh, truly concerned about that, Mr. Chairman. I appreciate your leadership on this issue, and I yield back. Thank you, uh, Mr. Lamborn. Mr. O'Rourke, you're recognized for five minutes. 